Aaron Mao, Drew Vartanian, and Dan Labrie, and we've been building Noto, a Chrome extension that lets you share and leave notes on any website. Now, the genesis of the app was for web developers to be able to annotate and record actions on sites they're working on and have seamless discussions with various stakeholders, like design or marketing. So with the Noto extension, you can now mark up any page virtually as you would with physical post-its. And on top of being a super useful work collaboration tool, um, having virtual post-its on the web creates a really interesting new personal messaging medium where you can leave notes across the internet for friends to discover. For instance, I might go on Seamless, leave a note for my roommate, treat yourself, get dessert. Next time she goes to order food, she'll see it. Parents can also leave notes for their kids on sites they shouldn't be on. For instance, if I go to a figuratevebadsite.com, we'll see you shouldn't be here, love mom. So we hope to bring an element of delight and surprise to your daily web browsing. Karen will now walk through a full demo. Thanks, Connie. So with Nodo, each time when you visit a page, you will display any notes that you have left for yourself or the notes that your team have shared with you. So if I want to create a new note, I can simply right click on the page and select the option from the context menu. Once the note is created, you can put in some text, drag around, resize, change the color. You can also assign to the team that you want to share with. You can also record browser activities for your team to play back. After done, you can simply delete the note. All of these changes are saved to the database, allowing nodes to persist and re-render the next time when you visit that page. Next, Mark is going to talk about how nodes and teams are organized. Thanks, Karen. So you may be asking yourself right now, my friends and colleagues are going to be leaving these notes all over the web. How do I keep track of them? Our pop-up menu has that functionality built in. On browser launch, our background script caches all your notes. We use Angular to populate and render the different sections. The menu functionality also introduces new uh, use cases. For example, a teacher could, leave, uh, could assign homework to their students via the unread notes section. Each, link, each list item here is a clickable URL. Students would then follow the links and find uh, notes from their teacher explaining their assignment within the context of the site itself. As you can see, Noto truly augments your browsing experience. Drew will now expand more on the team sharing aspects. Thanks, Mark. So we wanted to make sure that teammates could continue to work efficiently even when they're both online. To do this, we use sockets that broadcast and listen to teams for any note change. On a team socket broadcast, uh, the, your local data will be updated, and any notes that are currently viewing, that you're currently viewing will be rendered automatically. The toughest challenge we found with this was how to add a new team member and have them start seeing those notes right away. In Node, we created a system that matches any user with an active session to their socket. Using this system, when a new team member is added, their socket is retrieved and then joined to that team's room. This allows them to see the notes right away, any new notes right away. Um, their local cache is also prompted to update so they can see any notes created before that point for that team. I'm now going to hand it to Dan to talk about some of Noto's advanced features. Thank you, Drew. So Noto harnesses the power of DOM manipulation and event emitters to record and recreate a user's actions in the browser with fidelity to timing and intent. This means that if you discover a feature on a website and you want to share it with your development team, you can simply record it rather than having to try and describe the process. As I'm talking, pay special attention to our user's cursor behind me as they record events. One challenge that we faced in creating this event recorder was how to create a natural feel. Uh, Noto accomplishes this by instantiating event listeners on common browser events such as on scroll, mouse position, click, or click. <laughs> Um, or, oh, or, or key press, sorry. Um, upon clicking play, our signature blue ball is appended to the DOM, which then tracks with mouse position and other events using animations. These animations are then pushed onto the event loop, thus creating an action queue with perfect recollection of a user's original timing. As developers, I'm sure many of you have struggled to be able to reproduce difficult bugs in your web apps. With Noto's action recording feature, recreating difficult bugs is a breeze. Noto is available for download free on the Chrome Web Store. We hope you enjoy using it as much as we enjoyed building it. Thank you. Thank you.